हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन अरेंजिंग कैट्स ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज राउंड नाइन ट्वेंटी सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स डैट इन ऑर्डर टू टेस्ट द हाइपोथिस अबाउट द कैट्स द साइंटिस्ट मस्ट अरेंज द कैट्स इन द बॉक्सेज इन अ स्पेसिफिक वे अफकोर्स दे वुड लाइक टू टेस्ट द हाइपोथिस एंड पब्लिश अ सेंसेशनल आर्टिकल एज क्विकली एज पॉसिबल बिकॉज दे आर टू एंग्रोज इन द नेक्स्ट हाइपोथिस अबाउट द फोन बैटरी चार्ज Scientists have n boxes in which cats may or may not sit. Let the current state of boxes be denoted by a sequence b1 to bn. bi equal to one if there is cat in the box number i, and bi equal to zero otherwise. Fortunately, the unlimited production of cats has already been established. So in one day, the scientists can perform one of the following operations. Take a new cat and place it in a box. For some i such that बी आई इक्वल टू जीरो असाइन बी आई इक्वल टू वन रिमूव अ कैट फ्रॉम अ बॉक्स एंड सेंड इट टू रिटायरमेंट फॉर सम आई सच दैट बी आई इक्वल टू वन असाइन बी आई इक्वल टू जीरो मूव अ कैट फ्रॉम वन बॉक्स टू अदर फॉर सम आई जे सच दैट बी आई इक्वल टू वन बी जे इक्वल टू जीरो असाइन बी आई इक्वल टू जीरो बी जे इक्वल टू वन इट हैज ऑल्सो बीन फाउंड डेट सम बॉक्सेज वर इमिजिएटली फिल्ड विथ कैट्स therefore the scientists know the initial position of cats in the boxes s1 to sn and desired position f1 to fn due to large amount of paperwork the scientists do not have time to solve this problem help them for the sake of science and indicate the minimum number of days required to test the hypothesis so our input contains number of test cases n the number of boxes a string s means the initial state of the cats and f represents the final state so first see these three cases so if i have three boxes say one is having cat other one is empty and next one is also empty this is the fact initial state suppose and i have the final state as this so now let's check the possibilities so first possibility take a new cat and place it in a box so if i have bi equal to here i can place one cat where bi equal to 0 assign bi equal to 1 so i am doing it here remove a cat from a box set bi equal to 0 where bi equal to 1 so i can remove this cat and hence i have returned to the final position and one more possibility is that move a cat from one box to another so it may be that uh, if i number these boxes 1 2 3 i move the cat from box 1 and move it to 3 so in the initial condition where i was removing the cat and adding the cat there were two moves and if i move this cat directly to the third one i have only one move so we need to have the minimum number of moves so now let's see the question we need to output the minimum number of operations required to obtain the desired position from the initial position and solution always exists so which i told now is this now i have 100 100 1 so here is a cat and here is a cat where we need is for final state we need the cat here 
so to put the cat here what we can do we will move the first cat to the last box and remove this cat so total moves are two one for this and second one for removing now in case of only n equal to one initial position also one final is also one so total zero now to fill zero 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 with one 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 we need to place all the cats so three so like this we need to check how many moves are required hence the idea is very simple first what we will do we will count the number of initial cats and number of final cats so let's take the first case the number of initial cats are two number of final cats are one now we will take minimum of it which means minimum is one so i take one and now we will take the difference of the two so two minus one which is one so i will add the difference so our answer came out to be two which is the answer here so the intuition is that we are calculating the difference between the two first we check whether the ones placed at the same position or not so where the one and zero are varying there only we will increase the count for suppose i have one zero zero and one zero one so in this case we check the first index both are having one so we will not count it so our initial count would be zero and final count would be one in this case so minimum of it is one and if you take the difference of it so here the difference is one and minimum is zero so zero plus one which gives us one so the answer is one in this case so i hope you all understand the intuition and the solution thanks for watching